directive is much more comprehensive than most directives. It uses really clear language that can't be sort of subjectively interpreted, for instance. Um, it covers both terminal and non-terminal conditions and includes several clearly worded dementia provisions. So a lot of directives that are available in Washington only apply to terminal conditions. Well, many of us are very concerned about Alzheimer's disease, and for good reason. People can live in a demented state for years and years and years, and they can remain extremely healthy in that demented state. And so it's important that your directive address issues around dementia and Alzheimer's, and ours includes several of those. Our document doesn't include any stealth statements. In the Five Wishes document, there's a stealth anti-choice statement that says, I don't want anything done or omitted that would uh, result in my death if, uh, if, the, if it's intentional, if the choice is being made to, in, if the intention is to end my life. Well, if Terry Schiavo had made that directive, Five Wishes, and not crossed out that section, her parents could say that her husband was trying to discontinue her artificial nutrition and hydration for the purpose of ending her life. And it could have invalidated the entire directive. So that's a problem. So our directive doesn't include any statements like that that could create what is a, a very sort of fatal flaw in the document, a document that creates an internal conflict within the document. There are no internal conflicts in our document. 